My bed is very important to me. It's a safe place. It's a place where you can relax, you can let your guard down. My bed means home. It, it's, it's a very secure feeling being in a bed, and it's sort of like your retreat. When I think about it emotionally, my bedroom and my bed, I just, it's comfort to me. It's a place to get away from the rest of the world. What would it be like to not have a bed? It's like the centerpiece of the room. I can't imagine not having a bed to sleep in. I don't know how I would be able to continue doing a great job in my career or being a good mom. If I didn't have a bed to sleep on, I, I think I'd be a little lost. I've never thought of that, to, to imagine life without my bed. To imagine, I can't, I can't uh, imagine it. I did not know. 5,000 kids without beds, that's, that's a horrible number. I had no idea that there were 5,000 children in Wake County that did not have a bed. That is very sad and heartbreaking. For a child to not have a bed, I think it doesn't really give them a place to feel safe. To sleep, sleep on the floor without a bed, as a father, it just makes me sad, the concept of that. It would break my heart if my daughter had to sleep on the floor. If I had to put her to bed every night in, in a place that wasn't comfortable or soft or where she didn't feel safe, it would break my heart. If it, there's more than one child that doesn't have a bed, then that's too many.